guys, so this is gonna be a DIY recipes. Excuse the background. I have the laundry going. I do apologize for that. We're gonna be doing a DIY buttercream using mango butter. Now, I've never used mango butter before. I have several videos on how to uh, do um, cocoa butter and shea butter. I have several different recipes also. Um, so very, very simple, y'all. Mango butter, I like to use a leave-in conditioner with my buttercreams, I don't know why, but I do. This is a Gia Money Direct Leave-In. I have it upside down to bring it all out. Um, we're gonna be using oils. I have several different oils in here. Argan oil, olive oil, grapeseed oil, Jamaican black castor oil, sweet almond oil. I feel like there's one more missing. Um, did I say grapeseed oil? Everything will be listed below in the description box. Now I'm gonna be using a makeshift double boiler to boil down this mango butter. Um, then add one to two tablespoons of the oil, all of the Giovanni direct leave-in, which is probably about three to four tablespoons. Whip it all up, put it in the refrigerator for 20 minutes, whip it up again, and then place it in this, this is empty. Place it in these in this kinky dresses, coconut mango hair butter, there's nothing in here, so. So I'm just removing the mango buttercream out of the package, and it's a very soft product. Um, softer than shea butter, but I don't know how to explain it, crumbly, but very similar to shea butter. So I'm just placing it in a stainless steel bowl over a double boiler, and I'm going to allow this to melt. You can see it melting right here. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, and once it's done melting, all the, almost all the way, I'm gonna go ahead and add I'm gonna do about one and a half tablespoons of the oil, all of the Giovanni mixture, place it in the freezer. This is what it looks like after a few minutes. This is what it looks like after almost 20 minutes. And then I'm gonna take a hand mixer and blend it up, okay? This is how creamy it came out. Now this will harden, and it, it will harden quite a bit to the point to where when I used the product, I allowed it to sit in warm water for a few seconds so that it could um, melt just, or soften, I should say. So this is what it looks like in the container. Yeah, see how it's hardened? So now what I'm gonna do, you guys, is that I already set my hair in twists two days before, and you're just gonna see me take down the twist. Now my hair does feel very moisturized. It is very shiny. This is a different style. Well, the results are not what I've ever experienced. Look at the definition and the shine. However, my hair was frizzy. Now I do notice with other recipes that they tend to add cocoa butter or shea butter, but I didn't want to add those products because I know some people have issues with shea butter and cocoa butter. Um, so yeah, it got very frizzy towards the end of the day. And you'll see here as I continue to unravel and separate that it's defined yet frizzy. Like, isn't this a beautiful definition? Very shiny, looks very healthy. But yeah, girl, I couldn't, I had to basically retwist later on that day. So what I am gonna do, you guys, is come back on cam probably next week. You see the frizz there? Yeah, come back on next week. I'm going to reset my hair. I think that this would be a perfect twist out if I added um, gel. So I'm going to recreate this style with the Extreme Wet Line Gel, excuse me, Wet Line Extreme Gel, and the um, Mango Buttercream. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Yes, continuing to fluff up my hair. The twist out is pretty, huh? But it is very frizzy. And it's already warm here in Phoenix, you guys. That's one thing that I take into consideration, the weather outside. We're talking about it was 94 degrees this particular day. So my hair really puffed out and I had to end up retwisting later on. So this is the look I went for. I just pinned my hair up on the side there. Very pretty, huh? Um, I tried, girl. <laughs> So like I stated, I will be coming back um, next week restyling this particular look. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Take care. Bye.